the first point to note when you're dealing with spatial information, diagrams normally reduce cognitive load. Let me give you an example to make that easier to understand. Let's assume I show you a square, a 10 centimetre by 10 centimetre square. It'll take you a fraction of a second to recognise that as a square. You'll know that's a square as soon as you look at it. That's presented in visual form. Now, I could present a square in auditory spoken form as well. I could, for example, tell you, think of an object that consists of a line 10 centimetres long, which is vertical, goes up and down. Think of another line at 90 degrees to the first line where the ends of the two lines meet and assume that second line is also 10 centimetres long and since it's at 90 degrees to the first line, that second line is horizontal. Think of a third line joined to the second line and parallel to the first line at 90 degrees to the second line, 10 centimetres long. I'll stop at that point. You can see where this is leading. At the end of that description, once I've described the fourth line, you may or may not realise that it's a square I'm talking about. That sort of information should never be presented in verbal form. It ought to be presented in spatial, two-dimensional form. If it's presented in verbal form, it means the same, but your ability to extract meaning from it, your ability to process it in working memory, is massively more difficult. Massively more difficult. So, some material naturally lends itself to presentation in spatial form, in visual form. Other material naturally lends itself to presentation in verbal form. And there is a massive increase in cognitive load, a massive increase in the working memory resources required to deal with the material if you present it in an inappropriate form. So, you need to keep that in mind, even for simple tasks such as dealing with a square. It's better presented in spatial form. Now, some material, as I said, is better presented in verbal form. If you're dealing with abstract concepts like truth, beauty, justice, I don't know how one would present that in spatial form. There may be some way of doing so. You would probably have immense difficulty understanding me if I attempted to present that in spatial form. The obvious natural way of presenting a description of, let's say, truth is in verbal form. It's the obvious way of doing it. Your cognitive load, your working memory load is reduced by presenting that concept in verbal form. Other material, two or three dimensional material, is better presented in spatial form.